Alright, there we go. <sighs> Hi, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So glad that I could have you, even if it is for a couple of minutes. <sighs> Let me just get into it. So, uh, if you're new here to the channel, I have a son. Uh, he's awesome, he's great. Uh, he's gonna be one tomorrow. One years old. 365 days. So, um, we've already had his birthday party and all that good stuff. And now it's time for like presents. Uh, I've got a bunch of presents. The one I'm about to show you guys is what me and my wife bought him. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna look at it and do all that stuff. So, if that's something that you're interested in, Click that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. Let's get on with the video. Uh, so, this was my wife's idea. This is a 360 uh, rotation bumper car. Let me get this up here. You see this? This thing right here. It is one of those <laughs> bumper cars, and... Uh, it's called a bumper buddy, apparently. Not just a bumper car. Uh, but this one comes with remote control, so like uh, parents can can parents can uh, control it so your children don't uh, die, basically. Uh, if you're interested in this product, the uh, not a sponsor by the way, or this isn't free. I purchased it with my own money and I'm just making content. But the website is mybumperbuddy.com and uh, I'll, I'll try to link it in the description and all that. But, so this is a 12 volt uh, dual motor, ages 18 to 96 months. So it's a little, it's a, it might be a tad bit advanced for his age. However, uh, he does well with these certain things and uh, we're gonna use it to, uh, you know, our own caution. Uh, he's gonna be fine. And we're only going to use it for, uh, you know, with our control. That way he doesn't go insane with it. The max user weight is 45 pounds. 45 pounds, uh, which is a pretty good heft uh, for a baby, uh, especially 18 to 96 months. So you shouldn't have too much to worry about. Anyway, enough talking, enough talking. Let me cut the bands on this thing with my cobalt knife here. Alright. What if I can turn you turn you down a little bit so maybe you can see more of what I'm doing. Sorry, I, I stopped the video. I was just trying to I was just trying to pull you down. That's all I was trying to do, okay? That's that's it. Come on. Work with me here, buddy. <sighs> work with me. There we go. There we go. See now you can see me actually work. I've already cut the bands and all that cool stuff. Excuse the clothes. I'm gonna just move that out of frame because uh, why not? <sighs> all right, let's open the box. You ready? Um, how? Where should I start? Let's start. I'm assuming that I'll, I'm gonna just start with this side, okay? And I, I'm trying to, since his birthday's tomorrow, I'm just trying to get it ready. And, uh, no, I didn't even cut it. I just, uh, I'm trying to get it ready and plenty enough time for him to enjoy it on his actual birthday. Now, I got the color blue. And, uh, ooh, it's gonna be super, super cool, y'all. All right. So. Fresh out of the box, this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty crazy. Not much uh, holding this thing in here other than this little block of styrofoam. So that's wild. Now I'm gonna get rid of the box because there's not much value in that. Okay. Maybe I can move you guys down farther so you can see me work. On this. Hey! Let me untie the bag and we're gonna get into it. Bumper Buddy! <laughs> Super cool. 
Comes with a little bendy flag. Uh, it even has a little picture of the of the car itself on it. Uh, it does have little knobs that your uh, child can control this with, and uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. First things first is we're gonna. I'm not gonna worry too much about the stickers, but I am gonna go ahead and open this up just because if it was something else, I would uh, I would try to do it without even you know worrying about it. But since it's my son's uh, and I don't want to get yelled at, I'm gonna take a look at the instruction manual. So uh, it says, let's see here. Uh, assembly instructions. First up is joystick assembly, and that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna assemble the joysticks. Okay. Ooh, charger comes with the charger and all that stuff. Here is the remote control that we will be using to uh, control it instead of our son. But I need a daggone screwdriver. I'll be back. Okay, hey, I'm back now. Uh, you know, see, here's the thing: is that if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail, and that's exactly what you did. What I did, anyway. I got my screwdriver now, so we're gonna we're gonna get back in frame here, and we're gonna put we're gonna put the joysticks on. This is a very chaotic video, and I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, here, here are here are the little joysticks that they speak of. Uh, it, it, I don't know if you can see it or not, um, but uh, you know, little little bitty joysticks, nothing too crazy. Uh, and it even comes with uh, it even comes with little caps. It comes with little caps that uh, I'm gonna top them off with. So, boop and boop, just like that. And now we're gonna take our screwdriver. And come, it does, and it comes with all the hardware you need. We're gonna go ahead and tighten down our joysticks. Yay! Super fun. Are you the type of parent that loves putting toys together? I don't mind it, but. Uh, See, the thing about it is, if you work 12 hours like I do, that, that leaves you with very limited time to do things such as this. So, you either pray to God that you can get off early enough to even do such a thing, or uh, stay up late. And I had to make sure that I got off in time. Okay, so I think that should, oh boy, and you know, when you know it, it just pops right on there. Oh boy, what a workout. Anyway, how was your day? Was it good? Mine was long. I love this. Should have brought in the impact and just tighten them down so tight that they'll never come off ever again and just cracked right through it because this screwdriver actually came with another one of his toys and uh, it kind of sucks but once again you fail to prepare you prepare to fail I will say though, this is the tightest, holy crap, holy, I mean, a oh. little bit more. Okay, putting the cap on, putting the cap on the joystick. 
and it's on. Joystick assembly done. Step number two. Uh, backrest and flagpole assembly. So the flagpole is already assembled. So uh, that leaves us with just the backrest. And this is the backrest. We're gonna open this sucker up. We're just gonna plop her in. No screws. So it should just clip right in, actually. Which is cool! Let's see here. I'm trying to see. I'm assuming. So it needs. I think it needs. Yeah, okay, so it needs to go like this. It goes like this! Black strip pointing to you. All you gotta do is just plop it in there. And uh, it should just be in there. I think if you want to remove it, it does have little tabs that you can press on to uh, remove it on both sides. So that is cool. Uh, up next is power and seat assembly. So it does it does seem that the the seat has already been assembled. So okay, so I gotta undo this. I have to undo it. And it says that using a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew. Okay. Wow, super cool. Uh, so the seat seems to be only held by two Phillips screws and uh, that is what we shall be removing. It comes with a little sticker on the seat. It just, uh, you know, tells you to be aware, all that stuff. Be vigilant. Ensure power switch is off. Unscrew seat cover, connect wire to terminal. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to do such. I'm gonna unscrew your screws here. Yeah, look at us. Being a regular Tim Allen over here. Just building stuff. <laughs> Okay, so now, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. I will pick it up and uh, show it with you guys. But uh, this is what they want to do here. Let me bring it a little closer. Can you see? There is a wire right here that we are going to connect right here. do we are going to connect it and it is connected all you got to do is take your wire and slide it up on the piece of metal and you're done now that we've done that what else do we do ensure the power switch is off and uh, now that well the power switch was off but all right I know it works at least. Now, we are replacing the seat. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. He's gonna freaking love it, dude. He's gonna absolutely love this. So I will say the, uh, the seat screws go on 10 times better than the joystick ones. The joystick ones were super hard to get in. Uh, and the screwdriver is a piece of junk, but still, it shouldn't have gave me that much trouble. But it did. All right. Please tell me the remote that it came with batteries. That would be super awesome. All right.
right, now that we have done the assembly part number three there, what else does it say? Okay, so then it just says using the remote control and it gives you a, like a rundown on how to use it. So that is neat and handy if you are somebody who uh, just doesn't get remote controls. And uh, laugh all you want to, but then you know there's there's elderly people out there that just doesn't use technology. Help them out. Help help your grandmother learn how to search on YouTube or how to look up porn on Google. Help them out. Come on now. Uh, once again, here's the charger, which I'm going to open up and show you guys. And uh, this isn't a review. I just wanted to show you guys what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I just hope you liked it. I thought it was neat, and I wanted to share it with my 449 subscribers. Let's hit 500. So it just has that round, that round plug-in. Nothing too crazy. Uh, for something that came straight out of China, it seems uh, to be actually pretty good quality. All right. It's, oh man, sometimes these little these little bread tie thingies are, are stupid. Uh, but you know they they do the the normal route anymore, where they don't do a a big end or a small end. They're both the same size, so awesome. So, that's the charger. Let's get out the remote control, shall we? And of course, the remote control is exactly the same color as the car, super neat. Uh, I wonder yeah, it does. Uh, I don't believe it came with batteries. Uh, not, not, not a bad thing, though. How would I know if it did, though? I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. I am going to open it up and just double check. Because uh, that would be a shame if I went and got batteries and it already had batteries. Uh, but it does not. It does not have batteries. Which is, you know... No big deal. I'll be able to show you guys how this thing operates without batteries in the remote. So, another handy little piece of information. It does not come with batteries. All right. Now that we've got the thing completed, let me just show you guys what it looks like. Of course, you know, there's your there's your seat here. Uh, you got your joysticks. Uh, it's got the, you know, the nice little rubber padding for... All of your furniture and your doors and your trim because you know they're just gonna run into everything like a bat out of hell because kids are kids you got your your little flagpole that has like a legit photo of the bumper car itself uh, bumper buddy right there and then on the back we have another little bumper buddy sticker and uh, got some cool little lights going around the got some of that afterglow going on there pretty cool uh, so let's turn it on and let's see what it looks like all right look at that room room look at that super cool got lights going up here on both sides and uh, down the bottom. Now, here is the controls. I don't know if you can see that this big red glowing thing is the power button. Let's turn it off. Uh, so it even has a speed setting. You can make it faster or slower. And let's see. Okay, see, so it has the remote only mode. So you can hit the switch if you're, uh, if you know, if you got your child in here and you just don't quite trust them enough, you can uh, turn the remote only mode on by, by flipping the switch to from off to on. I don't know if you can make any of that out or not, but it is there and it is an option. Super cool, super super cool, and uh, it does have a battery meter down here at the bottom. Not too bad. 
You can also, as you can tell, uh, there's a little music button. That is to mute it. You can turn the freaking music off, bro. Pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, it does have it does have a battery indi indicator down here at the bottom. That's what these little four uh, four little doodads are. I can't even see. <laughs> but down there at the bottom, it's got four uh, four little things, and that's uh, gonna tell you what the battery percentage is. <sighs> and this little this little round hole here. That is where you charge it. Get a good look at that if you can. Super cool. But now, the real test. Does it work? Oh my gosh. Super, super cool. He's gonna absolutely love this thing. Super, super cool. He's gonna love it. I can't wait to give it to him tomorrow for his first birthday. Uh, of course, you know, there for a long time, like I said, he is gonna be one, so we will be, uh, you know, using this obviously with adult supervision. Uh, you gotta use it to your best judgment. You can't just, you can't just go by the the age of things and, and say, well, my, my baby's 12 months. I'm not going to let him use something that's two years plus or something like that. Use your best judgment. You know how advanced your baby is. You, you know what your baby's capable of doing. So, uh, and this isn't like a, I'm not trying to like preach, but obviously you know your child. Is your child capable enough to handle this? Yeah? No? Well then, you know, do what you got to do. Like I said, this thing does come with little letter stickers, which uh, is pretty cool. I don't know if you can make it out or not. It's got, it's just little bitty letters. Got a bunch of A's, B's, C's, D's, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, I, I'm gonna consult the wife and see what she wants to do. Maybe she wants to put, you know, his name on the bottom of it. That would be, that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, but yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's see if we can hit 500 subscribers. I mean, we are almost there. We're about 51 away. We're 51 subscribers away from hitting 500. And I would just die if we can get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know, is there a product you want me to take a look at? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, is there some video you want me to do also let me know in the comments but that's pretty much it make sure to click the like button and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video